In all my years of conquest, violence, and slaughter, it was never personal. YouTube, YouTube, what's up, man? It's your boy, Dan D. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible because I don't want to dwell on this, but I want to bring it up because I see people running with narratives, right? Narratives, narratives, narratives. And why are people running with narratives? Because they want to take out Thanos. You know, uh, the YouTube Avengers out there are huddling up and 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 trying to trying to take down Thanos damn D you know what I'm saying the the Power Rangers is Mighty Morphin Power <laughs> they are Power Rangering <laughs> and and try to build up a machine these they are Captain Planet they with our powers combined Earth we, no, hate jealousy envious I want to be like D with our powers combined we can <laughs> Captain Planet as niggas, right? So we have the YouTube Avengers, right? Going around spinning narratives, right? Spinning, spinning narratives, uh, saying false information for what? For views. And they have already admitted it that like they are just doing this for views. Like this is it's it's not even real. It's it's literally not even real. And they even admitted it that they're doing it for views. They're doing it to get subs, so it's not even real. If you want to pay attention to it, you can pay attention to it. But I'm here to debunk all the false narratives that they are running with, right? First of all, uh, oh, backstabbing. Before I get to, you know, people saying that I'm a hypocrite, people say that I'm backstabbing and stuff, I want to I wanna talk about that real quick because... I am, see, while y'all hating, y'all really giving me content, too, because, uh, you know, people saying that I backstab other people, eh, false narrative, and I'm actually going to make videos about that, so, like, the more that y'all keep talking to me, like, the more ideas I get to make videos, so, and people are definitely going to watch this, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a video, well, I already made the video about me and Scoop, right? Because people say that I backstab Scoop. But I'm going to actually give y'all a history lesson between what happened to me and Scoop and why I went at particular YouTubers. Because when I went at YouTubers, I really had a reason. I didn't have... I didn't make up stories. I didn't lie. I didn't run with false narratives. See, that's the difference between what I did and what these people are trying to do now. Like, these people are trying to be me, Lit literally. They are trying to be the next damn D, right? So, but what I did, I wasn't running with false narratives, right? I wasn't making up stories. I wasn't making up lies. I wasn't making up false narratives just to fit my agenda, just to have something to talk about. I was actually giving proof, giving documentation, and, and presenting it. Now... Damn D's a hypocrite, right? Damn D's a hypocrite. Damn D's a hypocrite. He's reviewing fake shoes when he used to talk about fake shoes. Damn D whole career, right? This is the narrative that people is, is running with. Damn D whole YouTube is about exposing people reviewing fake shoes, right? Damn D had a problem with Scoop 208 doing fake shoes. He had a problem with Mike the Compass with a sneaker life reviewing fake shoes. Damn D always used to talk about people reviewing fake shoes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's funny how people switch the narrative just to fit their agenda. And what people fail to realize and 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 this is very 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 valuable see people leave out bits and pieces just to fit their narrative now people are all going around saying damn d used to hate fakes used to talk bad about fakes yeah i did at every point everybody talked about fakes 
this was when the fakes was fake, fake, fake. You know what I mean? The fakes that are in 2022 are not the same fakes from from 10 years ago. Everybody had a bad taste in their mouth about fake shoes. Don't just point the finger at me. Everybody was talking back. The people that are buying fake shoes now are the same people that were talking bad about fake shoes 10 years ago. So don't act like I'm the only one. Uh, homeboy, I know you're going to re react to this. So please react to this part. All right. This is about the hypocrisy, right? You watch a podcaster that hated fakes. Now he currently buys fakes. <laughs> Listen again. You, because I know you're going to watch my video and you're going to react to it because you said that you're going to react to all my videos. Cool. I want you to talk about this. After I get done with this sentence, pause and react to it. And can you admit that if I'm a hypocrite, he's a hypocrite too? The person that you watch, the person that you cool with, the person that go lies every single day. At one point, he used to hate counterfeit UA shoes. He used to talk bad about UA shoes, right? Now, all of a sudden, that's all he does. That's, that's all they talk about is UAs and how great they are. And he buys UAs. The same thing. So why is it such a problem when I did it, but it's not a problem when he did it? Oh, I get it. So it's not about really exposing. It's about who, who you like. So if you have a friend that does the same thing that someone that you don't like, you're going to expose that person that you don't like instead of exposing anyone that's being a hypocrite. Right. So it's just the people that you don't like. That's a hypocrite that you're going to expose. OK, cool. I just want to talk about that. So I want to know if you're going to talk about that. All right. Pause this. Do your little speech and let me know if I'm correct or if I'm wrong. All right. So. Um. Hypocrite. Damn, these are hypocrite. I just want to play a few little clips. Like, I really don't want to make this video too long because I got some other videos to make. And I got some uh, videos fairly explaining the situation. But this is just a little sample. People saying that Damn, these are hypocrite because he used to talk bad about UA shoes. Now he's buying UA shoes. Okay, cool. If you want to, bro, every, everybody talked about UA shoes at one point. Everybody was dogging UA shoes at one point. Everybody. Now, those same people that were dogging it are now buying it. So if you want to say I'm a hypocrite, cool. But everybody else in the world is. Times, bro, when I was younger, I used to say I would never eat onions. Now, all I do is eat onions. Every time I order a burger, I get sauteed onions. I love onions now. When I was in high school, I used to hate sushi. I'm like, man, I, I would never eat sushi. Now I love sushi. Bro, that's, it's life, okay? People, opinions, people, thoughts change all the time. Everybody has at one point in their life said that they would never do something and now they're doing it. So what, bro? It's, it's, it's a part of life. So if you want if you, if you to harp on that D said that he would never get a fake shoe, never buy a fake shoe. Technically, I don't buy fake shoes. Shoes are sent to me. So actually, I'm still correct on that. I will never openly, willingly buy a fake shoe. All right. I stand firm on that. These shoes that I'm getting, I'm not buying them. They're being sent to me. But if you want to, if you would, if you want to hold on for the simple fact that D, D was talking bad about UAs. Yeah, but those UAs were the UA UAs. They are not the same UAs as today. But cool. If you want to hold on to that, hold on to that. And you can ride it all the way until 2023. Oh, my God. Then they Okay. But what I really want to talk about, about the hypocrite, is Damn D used to attack sneaker YouTubers that reviewed fake shoes, right? That's what the narrative is going around. Damn D whole career was attacking people that reviewed fake shoes. 
false narrative. You're forgetting one little small detail. Let me tell you what Damn D used to do. Damn D used to attack YouTubers reviewing fake shoes, pay attention, as real. Why y'all don't include that little small little detail? That little small detail is huge. Okay? Listen again. This is the narrative, right, that people are saying. Damn D whole career was him attacking people, reviewing fake shoes. And then they leave it as that. Mm, false narrative. You're 50% right. But you're leaving out one small detail that makes a huge difference. The real narrative. Damn D was attacking sneaker YouTubers that was reviewing fake shoes as real. So what are we really talking about here? What what, <laughs> what are what 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 are y'all really talking about? And you know what? Since you don't believe me, all right. So let me. All right, back. I made this video in 2019, right? 2019. Now the reason why I got this <laughs> video, I, I, I ain't gonna say why, but um. Uh, this video was made in 2019, right? Check this out. This is what I said three years ago. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I honestly do not have a problem with people honestly, openly admitting that, hey, you know, sometimes I buy fake shoes and review it. Sometimes I wear uh, fake shoes to uh, wear it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's cool. As long as you're open and honest. But... This video is A wise man once told me the lie is more entertaining than the facts. All right? Lies are more entertaining than the facts. Why? Because lies you can literally make up anything. Because it's not true. You can you can literally put false claims false ties you can literally make up any story and make it funny because it's not true but the truth is boring because the truth is just plain and simple the truth doesn't have see look there's a difference between narratives agendas opinions all that stuff right all those words have emotions, right? They have emotions. People feel a certain way, right? They are pushing an agenda, a narrative, because that's how they feel. That's how they interpret whatever information they are receiving, right? Those are emotions. Facts don't have emotion. It's just facts. It's just plain and simple. It's, it's, it's just facts. Facts doesn't have emotions. Facts is not a, an opinion. Facts is not a narrative. Facts are facts. And the simple fact is, in 2019, when I was going at Mike the Compass, I was going at Mike the Compass because he was buying fake shoes and pretending like he was getting scammed and then pretending to be real. Once again, that, that's cool. Sometimes I wear admitting to not have a to wearing and uh, 500k subs, and you openly admitted to wearing and buying fake shoes. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I honestly do not have a problem with people honestly, openly admitting that hey, you know, sometimes I buy fake shoes. And review it. Sometimes I wear uh, fake shoes to uh, wear it. You know what I'm saying? That that's cool as long as you're open and honest. But so how am I being a hypocrite when three years ago I said I don't have a problem with people reviewing fake shoes. I don't have a problem with people re 
buying fake shoes saying, hey, this is for views. This is for, you know, just for content. As long as you're open and honest. In 2022, am I being open and honest when I review the Concord 11s? I was open and honest, right? H how am I being a hypocrite? See, it's, it's crazy that y'all leave out that one little detail. That one small detail makes a huge difference. Once again, people saying that I attack a sneaker life and other YouTubers because they were re reviewing fake shoes. Once again, in 2019, three years ago, let me explain to you what I was really doing. It, listen, people. It, you know, it's so funny. People say, people make fun of me repeating my words over and over again. But there's a reason why I repeat things. You know, if you, if you pay attention to um, advertising, right? When you hear advertisement on the radio, they literally repeat, repeat what they say so it can register in your head. Like that's that's a part of a, a I don't know the word that I'm thinking of, but you repeat yourself so it can register. But it seemed like when I repeat myself, it doesn't register with y'all. Oh, because that hate in your heart. Right. That hate and that jealousy in your heart just overtakes your brain, overtakes your thoughts. Listen to what I said three years ago. So check this out. This dude right here, he said, oh, because in, in the in the roast video, right, that I did about Scoop 208, I had mentioned Mike the Compass. Right. Because I was like, bro, you and Mike the Compass, y'all be coming up with these whack ass schemes like oh i got scammed and buying fake shoes but y'all in denial y'all keep saying like these are not fake but bro we know you buy fake shoes like just come out and say you buy fake shoes just for the review cool if you do that trust me you would get no flat but the more you keep just being in denial and saying these are real like i just gotta expose you you know what i'm saying god <laughs> Y'all looking real bad, bro. Y'all looking real bad and real thirsty. And y'all are reaching for anything. Y'all, y'all are a go-go gadget. Y'all are y'all y'all got some go-go gadget hands. Some go-go gadget arms. Y'all are reaching for the moon and trying to land anything. Listen to what I said three years ago. When I was attacking Mike the Compass, it's because he was getting fake shoes. Quote unquote, saying that he got scammed, end up buying a real pair, and then saying, Hey, I'm gonna do a real versus fake shoe. But all along, he was getting them from Wendy Lee from the jump. And then in this video, I literally just said, Yo, if you are open with the people and say that I buy fake shoes, I'm cool with that. I said that three years ago. <laughs> y'all looking sad out here, bro. Like, y'all really look thirsty, bro. Y'all really look thirsty, and y'all really looking sad right now. Real, like, I just got to expose you. But the more the review. Come out and say, we know you buy fake shit. Y'all in denial. I got scammed. And I was like, bro, you and Mike the Compass, y'all be coming up with these whack ass schemes like oh i got scammed and buying fake shoes but y'all in denial y'all keep saying like these are not fake but bro we know you buy fake shoes like just come out and say you buy fake shoes just for the review cool if you do that trust me you would get no flat but the more you keep just being in denial and saying these are real like i just gotta expose you you know what i'm saying oh boy the hate in your heart is just remarkable Last month, I told y'all, I, I told y'all last month, right, 2021, that I'm going to start reviewing fake shoes. And I said that I'm going to start reviewing fake shoes for the views and for the content. To gain from this. Not, well, other than views. You know what I'm saying? Other than views from this. Views. Other than your boy. To give you the honest review on fake shoes. I understand that, and I need y'all to understand that, okay? 
So what better person to give you the honest review on fake shoes other than your boy Damn D? You know what I'm saying? I have nothing to gain from this. Not, well, other than views. You know what I'm saying? Other than views. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing I'm hoping to gain from this is views. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I need them goddamn views. Okay. The so, what are y'all exposing? What are y'all exposing when I told you that? Oh, you didn't hear it. Oh, you wasn't listening. Oh, you heard it, but you wasn't listening. Oh, you only pay attention to things that fit your narrative to push your agenda. Oh, okay. Mm, narratives, facts. How you feel, facts. Your opinion and facts. Those are two different things. So what so so what are y'all really talking about? What what are y'all really talking? Y'all looking real bad out here and y'all are reaching, bro. Y'all are reaching. One more video clip that was in 2019, May, May 21st, 2019, three years ago. I ain't trying to dibble and dabble like a sneaker life and then try to like buy fakes and then try to pass it as real and then be trying to make a video and be like, oh man, I got scammed by eBay, but who the fuck buys shoes from eBay, especially a fun motherfucking hype shoe for $1,200, but you're going to make a video and your acting is very, very bad. But then you then you buy a real, then you say, oh, uh, now I guess I can do a compare because a, a fake versus real. I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to dibble and dabble. If my shoes ain't coming from the retail store or a very, very reliable source. I'm just going to take the L. I'm going to charge it to the game. There we go. So, like I said, if you want to call me a hypocrite, because I think I think in this video I said that I, I would never, I don't want to dibble and dabble or whatever. But in this video, to 2019, it says, China wants to China wants me to review shoes for them. What should I do? That was three years ago when I was telling y'all that 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 you know China was uh, hit me up and stuff like that. And even in this video, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to dibble and dab. You know, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, if you want to call me a hypocrite because if three years ago I said no. I'm not going to review fake shoes. And now I'm reviewing fake shoes. Cool. Go ride that to the wheels fall off. Okay, you got me. But guess what? The people that you watch currently on podcasts, they said the same thing. They said that they hate fakes, that they would never review a fake. And now all they talk about is fakes. The people that are buying, that are currently buying fake shoes in 2022, we're not buying fake shoes 10 years ago. It is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So all this false narrative stuff that people are running around with, y'all looking thirsty, bro. And you're looking sad. You're looking very stalkerish. Very stalkerish. See, the difference between my videos that I made about people, like, I didn't make a video every single day, you know, I probably made a video maybe like once or twice, you know, a week or once or twice every two weeks. I wasn't making videos every day about one person. Now that I can I can vouch for, you know, if I made a video, you know, it was one video, you know, this week, maybe next week I might post another video about the person or but but y'all looking very stalkerish, analyzing every single word that I say just for content. That's a little stalkerish. That's a little weird. That's very weird. That's not a very weird. All right. So please, please know the difference. All right. When I was doing it, I was actually making valid points. Once again, when I was going at Mike the Compass. I was going at him because he was getting fake shoes, pretending that they were real, pretending that he got scammed. And then all of a sudden he does a, re a real in comparison. 
video. When I was going at Scoop, and I'm going to make a video about this. Well, I already made the video about this. Y'all really give me content because I got like I got like five, six videos already recorded uh, talking about past stuff that y'all talking about. When I was going at Scoop, Scoopity Poop was getting real. He was getting fake shoes, reviewing them as real. Anytime that I went at a content sneaker YouTube creator for reviewing fake shoes, listen to this. It's because they were reviewing fake shoes and they was portraying it to be real. Once again, in this video, I clearly said it's okay if you review and you buy fake shoes as long as you're open. I said this in 2019, three years ago. Would you like to hear me say it again? Should I repeat myself again? You know what? I should repeat myself again because I do that all the time, right? But I do that all the time because I wanted to register with you. This video of uh, fake shoes, with that. I honestly do not have a problem and you openly admitted to wearing and buying fake shoes. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I honestly do not have a problem with people honestly, openly admitting that, hey, you know, sometimes I buy fake shoes and review it. Sometimes I wear uh, fake shoes to uh, wear it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's cool. As long as you open and honest. But all right, I'm done. Um, y'all enjoy y'all day. S since y'all want to react to all of my videos, I hope you. I I hope you can openly, honestly, without a bitter, jealous, envious response. Like I hope as a man. And not just as a, see, there's a difference between being a man and acknowledging the truth and being just a YouTube troll and just a troll just for the hell of it. Because it's YouTube, eh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to not talk about the truth because the lies are more entertaining than the truth, right? The lies are more entertaining than the truth. So I'm not going to talk about the truth. Let's just talk about the lies. Ah, damn, D said that he... Like, for one second, or for one day, for one day, can you openly, honestly dissect this video and answer my questions? What are we really, what are y'all really talking about? I shut down the false narrative of me attacking YouTubers because they review fake shoes. Ah, you left out a small part. I attack YouTubers that reviewed fake shoes as real. Uh, Damn D being a hypocrite. Um, if I'm being a hypocrite, so is the person that you're watching. The person that you're watching didn't like you uh, didn't like UA shoes as well. But now all he does is talk about UA shoes. The same the people that are calling me hypocrites that are currently buying UA shoes. You wasn't buying UA shoes 10 years ago, five years ago. You were probably against UA shoes just like me. But UA shoes have changed. They have came a long way. It's not the same. When, oh, uh, damn, how did Max say? Uh, because S S Stephen A. Smith always used to call max a uh, hypocrite but max was like no no i'm not a hypocrite when new data arrives i give new opinions right so when new data arrives about the uas i can give my new opinion and the new data is the uas in 2022 they look way better than they used to so now my opinion changed that happens to to any situation in life 
you say things years ago because during that current time, you felt that way for a reason. But new data has arrived. New information has arrived. Now you think differently. Why are y'all so focused on? Anyway, I would love to hear y'all response on this. And I have more videos coming up too, explaining me backstabbing people, especially school, Scoop 208. I, I, I did a nice history lesson, history lesson about me and Scoop 208. That video is coming up soon and y'all really gonna like that. And even in 2021, I don't have bad feelings towards Scoop. I hope Scoop is doing good. Um, but that video is going to be dope. So anyway, it's your boy DMD. I'm signing out, man. Peace. In all my years of conquest, violence, slaughter, it was never personal. 